So for today on the side channel, we're going to be doing the 16 personalities test. I might take the other test too, uh, and we'll see what I get. I I've done these tests before uh, in my free time. I've never done it for a video though. Maybe my thing will change. I don't know. I'm not going to say what my thing was, but if it does change, I'll tell you guys what my original one looked like compared to what we're doing on this test. So you regularly make new friends. Um, no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I do. I would say probably not. Uh, if this is talking about like real friends, if it's talking about like acquaintances or people I kind of get to know, like on the internet, then maybe. But I, th I think it's talking about real life. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's in the middle. I, I kind of do, I kind of don't. You spend a lot of free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Most, most definitely, most definitely YouTube, uh, music, everything. Uh, seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. Does this make me a psychopath if I say disagree? <laughs> I mean, I don't fully disagree, but like, there's some things like I feel other people's emotion, but I'm not going to cry. It, like cry necessarily I mean I feel the pain but I'm not gonna cry so I'll be in the middle I'll be in the middle like I feel it but I ain't gonna cry I'm not gonna cry over it, so I don't agree or disagree <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I rarely cry bro you'd be surprised right I really do rarely cry and maybe maybe that makes me like a Logan Paul psychopath I don't know <laughs> all right you often make a backup plan for the backup plan. Um, I mean, I got backup plans kind of in place, but if we're talking about like long term, I mean, my backup plans aren't really that good, but I do plan ahead a lot. I'd say, I'd say I agree slightly. Yes, you usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Um, I'd say yeah, I agree. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. I would say y yes. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be real, I'm pretty bad at this. I do a lot of projects, and a lot of them I don't even really get done, but I do get a lot done as well. So it's it's complicated, you know. I'll be in the middle again. I'm being because I, I know I do this for some stuff where like I'll start a video and I'll finish it the same day, but there's other times like I'll do one thing, I'll forget about one thing, and I'll I'll kind of go all over the place. But I'm kind of I don't, I'm kind of in the middle because I I guess I do both. You are very sentimental. What does that mean? Does that mean I'm I'm a pussy? I'm gonna be real, guys. It'll make me sound like a bitch, but I I am somewhat sentimental. I don't cry, but I I'll, I'll be real. I'm kind of a <laughs> Raider Knights kind of sentimental. And if you don't believe I'm sentimental, I mean you can just look at you know how I treat my channel and how I treat you know everything around it. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. I tried to in the past, but I never really stayed up to date with it. I'm gonna be real. I don't. I don't really do schedules or lists. Well, I actually sometimes do lists, but I'm gonna say, for the most part, I disagree because I, I don't have a schedule at all. <laughs> it's all over the place. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Uh, in the moment, most certainly. In the moment, most certainly. But I don't... I don't ever fully doubt doubt my abilities or knowledge. But I definitely feel it like in the moment. You know what I'm saying? I think afterwards, like when I'm by myself, that's when I'm doing the best. But when I'm in the moment, I'm definitely getting destroyed by the small small mistakes. Because I take, I take mistakes very serious, I think. And I, I let them build up for me. But the bad, the weird thing with me is, like I, I'm super angry when I when I make the smallest mistakes, 
but at the same time I don't care. It's, it's like this very weird balance where I don't care, but I, I still make mistakes and I, I don't really like it. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Definitely, def definitely not. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Bro, if I met my heroes, bro, I, I'd probably still be too scared to walk up to him. You are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analyses of creative works. I'm gonna be real, bro. I am very, I, I'm actually really interested in this. Because when, whenever I look at like creative work, the first thing I'm doing is I'm d dissecting it. And that could be the YouTuber in me, but I love interpreting things and, and seeing like what went into it. So I disagree a lot. What is this? You are not too interested. I disagree. I'm super interested in in dissecting all sorts of creative works. You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. I think I follow my heart a lot more than my head. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment. I would say yes. I would say that most certainly yes. <laughs> If I don't want to make a video, sometimes I don't. But sometimes I do force myself. But it's not really a routine. I, I, I really hate routines, honestly. They, they get so boring. So I, I just kind of like doing whatever I want. You rarely worry about whether you'll make a good impression on people you meet. I disagree. I like making a good impression. So yeah, I, I would disagree. I gotta fit in, guys. I gotta be normal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right or night, <laughs> try to act normal, challenge impossible. You enjoy participating in group activities. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty independent, but at the same time, I, I don't really care. I'm gonna put it in the middle because I don't really care. I, I'm either or. I don't really care. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Uh, I just like it. I'll be real. I do like this because I do like interpret it like interpreting the ending I, I do like movies where I can just kind of interpret it however I want but not necessarily the ending I'd say the whole movie uh, I don't really read books. I mainly just watch movies if I if we're talking about stories But uh, I definitely like making up my own interpretation of different movies. I watch and uh, I, I really the main thing I want when I'm watching a movie is I just want something that's going to inspire me or impact me. It's not really about getting an interpretation about it, but that's kind of what I look for when I'm trying to find a movie. But I would say I agree. Your happiness comes from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Uh, I mean, the goal of the Raider Knight channel is definitely to inspire other people to do whatever they want. I like my accomplishments as well, but I would say the most part, like, you, you can get all the accomplishments in the world, right? But if you're not trying to help other people, you know, then, then what's the point? I think I answered, did I answer that right? I think I did. It was agree. You are interested in so many things, you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Uh, most definitely. YouTube, <laughs> music. Uh, games. I'm Discord. I'm kind of all over the place. I don't really know what I should focus on. I'm gonna be real. You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. I definitely think so. Honestly, I definitely think so because I, <laughs> if you guys are in my Discord server, I think this is definitely true. If you guys are in my Discord server, you'll hear me bitching all the time about how I think things are gonna go bad. Even, even though there's no reason, like there's nothing bad going on, but I always feel like, you know, something is going to fuck up, something is going to break, I'm going to have to pay a lot of money or whatever, and I'm always like scared of like these different little things, so I definitely agree, agree to that. The next one is you avoid leadership roles in group settings. This is a tough, oh wait, oh, I didn't mean to agree, I didn't go back, go back. Oh wait, I can still change it, okay. I didn't mean to click that. Oh my god, you avoid leadership roles in group settings is tough for me because I was gonna say, I, I like to be the leader, but at the same time, I, I don't <laughs> in some groups. It depends what group we're talking about. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle. 
I definitely I feel like I have leader qualities, but at the same time I feel like I have a social like gap where I, I just can't social <laughs> socialize very well. So I would say I disagree with part of it because you have to be able to socialize to be a good leader. But at the same time, I think I have other leader qualities, but I, I just lack the social social skills. You are definitely not an artistic type of person. I definitely disagree. Raider Knight, I'm always making stuff all the time. <laughs> it's like right when I get home, I'm making stuff or trying to make something. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings. I think you need a mix of both. I'm gonna be real, I think you need a mix of both. You gotta be rational, but at the same time, if you give up on your feelings, then what's the point? You know what I'm saying? You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. I'm gonna be real. I'm pretty bad at that. <laughs> well, I do chores, but I put like, I don't know, something like right, right here in the middle. You enjoy watching people argue. Not, I mean, it depends if I'm the one starting it, right? If I'm the one starting it, maybe. But just general, generally, like seeing people fight with each other, I don't really like seeing. But if I'm doing if I'm doing the trolling, then yes. But if it's just general people fighting each other, then no, I don't like watching that. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself, most definitely. <laughs> Unless it's on YouTube, then it's the opposite. But in real life, most definitely. Your mood can change very quickly. Um, well, I can, I mean, it changes sometimes pretty quickly. <laughs> I can be inspired one second, and I can be pissed off the next second. Or I can be sad the next second. And when I say sad, it, it's really the only mood that it changes is the one that doesn't care. <laughs> the bad thing is I take a lot of my pain as, as funny. The thing is, like, when my mood changes, a lot of, like, my pain, I just kind of turn into laughter. You'd be surprised the Raider Knight probably hides the majority of his pain. Your mood can change it very quickly. Uh, I'll say kind of agree because I wouldn't say fully agree because I mean I'm kind of grounded but my mood changes like quite a bit from like day to day. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. Not really. I, I disagree. Unless, unless they're like annoying me. A lot but for the most part I'd say disagree like I've never really had a big issue with people who like are lazy or whatever I just kind of ignore it and just just do my do myself you know what I'm saying you often end up doing things at the last possible moment um depends what I'm doing but for most of the time most of the time probably but I'm, I'm not a complete you know, last last possible moment. I do a lot of things early too. I put I put it in the middle because I do do a lot of stuff early. I guess I'll I'll slightly agree. You know, I'll change it. I'll slightly agree, but I I, I do get a lot of stuff done pretty early. You've always been fascinated by the question of if anything, what happens after death. Um, you know, Raider Knight is religious. I'm definitely always questioning. You know. What, what will happen after death? But I'm not scared of death either, though. But I, I guess I am kind of fascinated by it. Definitely not scared of it, though. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. I <laughs> disagree. Um, I mean, I don't care. But at the same time, uh, you know, I, I'm on my own. You know what I'm saying? You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. I mean, I don't care. You know what? I don't. I just don't really know. I don't care. <laughs> I guess I'm in the middle. I'm not really going to be bored, bored to it. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I guess it would depend what you're talking about. Like, it, it, what's the topic? If it's a good topic, then yes. But if it's a lame to topic, then no. So I'll probably just be in the middle, you know. I'm not really sure if I would lose interest or not. 
depends if it's a cool topic. At the same time, I mean, I'm just kind of like in a, in a mix of both anyway. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. Easy to empathize with? Yes, I would say definitely. You usually postpone uh, finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I, I'm gonna just, I, when I make a decision, I make a decision. Um, I don't take a long time. I disagree. I disagree. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty quick to the point when I'm, I'm ready to make a choice. It doesn't take me too, too long. You rarely second guess the choices that you've made. I mean, I'm, I, I second guess them quite a bit. Yeah, I definitely second guess my choices quite a bit. The, the thing about this is like, this is something like always on my mind, mind, right? It's like, why am I doing YouTube? Why am I, why am I doing music? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? What is the implications of this? What is the implications of that? Am I doing good enough? Am I not doing good enough? So I would say, I, I'm probably always judging myself, second guessing the choices. So I'd say yes. Well, I'd, I'd say slightly yes, because at the same time, when I make a choice, I, d I don't care. Should I put it in the middle? Because quite frankly, I don't I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> you know what? That is a better spot. We'll put it in the middle. I don't, I don't really care. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. Definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> you enjoy going to art museums. This, this basically means do you enjoy going to museums where art is? And I would definitely go to one, so I, I do like art. But I don't go places. I don't go places often. So it'd be yes and no. <laughs> but I, I mean, in the in the context of the question, would you like to go to an art museum in a perfect environment? Yes, yes. I often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. I disagree. You like to have a to-do list for every day. I disagree. You rarely <laughs> feel insecure. I disagree. You avoid making phone calls. Uh, sometimes but i'm i mean i'm not not making the phone calls but i say i kind of agree you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own yes in your social circle you are the one who contacts your friends definitely not if your plans are interrupted your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible i would say yes actually to that one uh you are still not bothered you are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Yes. You rarely comp contemplate the reason. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm contemplating this right now. <laughs> All the time. I disagree, bro. I'm always contemplating. Always contemplating. What is the meaning? What is the purpose? And uh, your emotions control you more than you control them. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's a it's a battle sometimes. But at the same time, they might be winning. But at the same time, I win sometimes. So I'll say a little bit. They're kind of winning. But I, I take back the reins sometimes. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say, nah, they, they really don't. You know what? It's in the middle. <laughs> it's in the middle again. They kind of do. They kind of don't. I'm putting that in the middle. That's a is a better spot you take great care not to make people look bad even when it is completely their fault fault well i mean i don't want anybody to look bad so yes unless it's the dream stands <laughs> we'll fight the dream stands your personal work style is closer to spontaneous burst of energy than organized consistent efforts um yeah, I'd say so. It's, it's just kind of whenever I get the spark to do something. But I mean, I do. I am kind of organized at the same time. So I, I'm not sure. I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm going to say in the middle. If someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. Probably two, probably two minutes. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably two minutes. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Probably. Uh, but actually, at my current job, I am alone for a lot of the time, just driving, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. I disagree. 
Um, you feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres rather than quiet, intimate. I disagree. Uh, you know at first glance how someone is feeling. Usually, yes. You feel overwhelmed. Um, yes and no. Um, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes, yeah. I'm kind of a bitch sometimes, though. I'll be real. It's probably more in the middle, but... I feel I feel like sometimes you know Raider Knight is kind of a bitch sometimes, but then it goes back to the middle. So I'm never always here, but I'd say you know what I'll, I'll knock it down to here. I feel kind of overwhelmed. You complete things, method? No, definitely not. I skip over all the steps. <laughs> Raider Knight skips all the steps. You intrigued by things labeled as controversial. I mean, Kanye West is controversial. Raider Knight's controversial. I, I mean, I'm not intrigued. I don't really care. I would say I don't care. I just don't care. If you want to be controversial, I don't care. If you're not, I don't care. That being, that being said, though, some things definitely go too far. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of people who get angry are also the problem. Why can't we... We all got to get together. We all just got to... We all gotta be friends, be friends, you know what I'm saying? You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Um, I mean, I guess so. I don't care. I mean, I don't. Well, I mean, what is what is the opportunity? What is the opportunity first? Is it like a really good opportunity, like once in a lifetime, or if it's just something, you know, whatever? If somebody really needs it more, I mean, I don't care, to be honest. I really don't. You know, I'll, I'll put, I'll put, yeah, you know, I'll put agree. I'll put agree. Because I really don't care at the end of the day. <laughs> you struggle with deadlines. Um, I don't know. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. You feel confident that things will work out. Um... I think in the end, everything is going to work out. I'm going to be real. Everything seems to work out. I think this is the same one I got last time. I don't remember. I got the mediator again. I think that's what I got last time. I don't remember. Yeah, so this is my old test is right here. So I did get the, the mediator again um, on this test today. So my personality has not changed. I'm still the mediator. Uh, INFP. They just changed the picture, so I was kind of confused, but I'm still this apparently. And then, has any of the numbers changed? That's what's interesting to me, is the numbers will change a little bit. Uh, it looks like I have actually become even more turb turbulent. That's that's not good. Or is it good? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Raider Knight has become even more turbulent. That's great. That's great. Tactics? Apparently I was in the middle before. What am I at now? Um, prospecting more than I'm judging. That's good, right? I think that's good. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably good. It's probably a lot better. That means I'm growing as a person. I'm getting better. Nature, feeling, or thinking. Has this changed? It looks like I'm feeling a lot more <laughs> lately than thinking. Because Raider and I got dumb? I mean, you guys could tell me in the comments below. Now, I've definitely been following my feelings a lot more lately. Just what I, you know, how I'm feeling. Because quite frankly, overthinking, that's a waste of time. <laughs> I wonder where my uh, energy has changed. This trait shows where we direct our mental energy. So I've, I mainly have intuition compared to observant. Uh, so I'm mainly just using my brain to figure things out rather than observing and just making a guess or whatever. So I think that is growing actually. I've become even more intuitive from the looks of things, which I think that means I'm growing, yes. But observant is kind of important also, I guess. I don't know. All right, now the big one, introverted. Oh God, bro. All right guys, now the big one is Raider Knight. Is Raider Knight becoming more introverted or is he getting more extroverted over the last <laughs> couple of months let's see oh god bro this is a lot worse 
Raider Knights falling back. We're falling back. Is a lyric warlock reference, bro. I'm 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 90 90 percent introverted now. I've become worse. I, I'm getting worse. That's awesome. <laughs> Raider Knight gets worse. <laughs> what we've learned from this video today. That's good. So basically, what we've learned from this video today is Raider Knight is is getting worse. He's getting more turbulent, more introverted. Um, his feelings are coming out more. Raider Knight, <laughs> he's, he's falling back. He's collapsing. Raider Knight, the whole arc is over. This is the end of the road right here. Now, this is a good test. I always like taking this to see if anything changed. All right. Although they may see, seem quite quiet or unassuming, mediators, INFPs have vibrant, passionate inner lives, creative and imaginative. They lose themselves in a daydream inventing all sorts of stories and conversations in their minds these personalities are known for their sensitivity mediators can have profound emotional responses to blah 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 and the people around them the world around us idealistic and empathetic mediators long for deep soulful relationships and they feel called to help other people but because this personality type makes up such a small portion of the population Mediators feel lonely or invisible, adrift, cloud drift in the world, the world around us, that doesn't seem to appreciate the traits that make them unique. Based? Based? Alright bro, who do we share this with bro, who do we share this with? We are with J.R.R. Tonkin, I don't know who that is, I don't care. William Shakespeare, this guy, he's kind of cool, he made funny book. Uh, we have Bajork, we have the Alicia Keys, Tom Hiddleston, Julia Roberts, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's an INFP? That doesn't seem right. I guess a bunch of random people. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't watch Lord of the Rings, so. Alright, now it's time to look at our strengths and weaknesses. Raider Knight strength is empathetic, generous, open-minded, creative, passionate, idealistic that means i'm going to take over some countries <laughs> the mediator weaknesses are unrealistic i guess i will not be taking over those countries self-isolating unfocused Th these are very good very good things to have definitely unfocused self-isolating i mean yes i mean we we're pretty based for that one you know i'm gonna be real my weaknesses could be strengths if you really think about it <laughs> unrealistic that means i'm a dreamer bro i think that's okay i think that's okay self-isolating you know raider knight's a loner i think that's okay bro unfocused that's because I, I like to do multiple things uh emotionally vulnerable i'm gonna be real i think i beat this one desperate to please i mean i really don't don't care you see like for these two i probably beat them already like maybe when I was younger, I, I probably had some of this, but I mean, if you look at the, like the Raider Knight YouTube journey, like you, you look at the old videos compared to the new videos, like you, you could probably tell that, you know, Raider Knight doesn't really care about pleasing people anymore. I, I've kind of done the dream video. I've done all the other videos where I just kind of, I just kind of troll people. And I think, you know, Raider Knight, he really doesn't care anymore uh about that but uh same with emotionally vulnerable i think i'm probably past that i mean i definitely get like a worse mood like if somebody somebody else is having a bad day but i mean other than that i'd say it's not huge but i'm not sure and then the only weakness that's real the self-critical -crit uh weakness this is probably the worst one Feeling self-critical right now? Before going to the next section, scroll up and reread your strengths. And let them serve as a reminder of how much you, dear, dear mediator, can bring to the world. Damn, bro. My strengths are so based, bro. My, I'm fucking based, bro. Raider Knight's based. You know, I mean, we're, we're kind of <laughs> collapsing, like we said. You know, we're getting more turbulent, more introverted. But other than that, I mean, I'm still based, bro. That's crazy. Um, overall, this video is just for fun. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Uh, we're trying to hit a billion subscribers by the end of the week. And peace.